In this video, we will create a mask dialog box. When you mask a block, you encapsulate the block logic and create a custom interface for the block. Consider a model containing a subsystem block called AC system. This subsystem contains an air conditioning system underneath. Let's apply a mask on this subsystem block and create a mask dialog box as shown. Notice that the mask editor has four panes. This video will walk you through the parameters and dialogs pane. The parameters and dialog pane has three sections, controls, dialog box, and property editor. You can use this pane to add controls on the mask dialog box and manage the mask dialog box layout. Select items from the control section to add on the mask dialog box. Use the property editor section to edit the parameter properties. For example, click collapsible panel from control section. Observe that a collapsible panel container is now added in the dialog box section. In the prompt column, type the value to be displayed on the mask dialog box. The name column automatically gets populated when a control is added with the handle for that control. You can choose to change this value. Edit the properties of collapsible panel in the property editor. Click preview to view the mass dialog box as you build it. Similarly, you can add and configure various controls from the mask editor to build the mass dialog box. Select the text controls type to add description for manufacturer's information. Select the hyperlink controls type and manage the hyperlink path by adding MATLAB code as a callback. Containers like group box panels, collapsible panels and tabs can be used to group the controls together and manage the mass dialog box layout. Use the button controls type to create the power on button. You can add callback code to be executed when the button is pressed. Notice that the item location is current row for the group box containing the power on button. This makes the collapsible panel for manufacturer's information and the power on button to be horizontally placed. Select the tab container to add main controls. Add dials and sliders to accept inputs for air conditioner parameters. You can edit the properties of dials and slider to place it horizontally or vertically. By default, the minimum and maximum values of dials and sliders are 0 and 100. You can choose to change it. You can also specify the item locations to be horizontal or vertical. Move the dial and slider to assign values. The values of these controls can be passed to the underneath implementation of AC system. Let's add another tab to contain the auxiliary controls. Add pop-up parameter to control the fan speed. Edit the pop-up type options in the property editor. Add the radio button parameter and edit its type options to add air freshener controls. This covers use of most of the controls available on parameters and dialog pane. For more information, click help on the mask editor dialog box to view the related documentation.